Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to use WooWave. It's a uh, syncing software that you can use. Um, I'm going to run off a Windows uh, format. I use Adobe CS6 Creative Cloud to do all my uh, video editing. So I will be using Adobe CS6 Premiere Pro and Prelude, two fantastic programs that Adobe makes. I think they both come in the production premium suite as well. Um, Anyways, um, I've already done this, so I'm just going to kind of go through and show you again so that we don't have to go through any long uh, rendering cues or anything. But uh, basically, I've used a, a DSLR camera and a, a Panasonic HMC 150 camera. They both use the AVC HD compression um, when they save their clips. You cannot use AVC HD compression with WooWave uh, because of the way that. Um, AVC HD spans clips and um, has all its metadata and everything separate. It's really kind of a weird format for doing anything with. So um, I've always found converting your AVC HD footage before working in uh, Premiere Pro is a good idea to do anyways. Um, and um, a few of the formats that work really well with uh, WooWave, um, MPEG-2 is probably the easiest. Um, it's been frame to frame accurate for me. Um, and even though it is a little bit compressed, um, I really don't think it's uh, noticeable for 99% of the jobs that I do. If you have something where you absolutely cannot compress it at all, um, there's kind of a, a workaround with that as well I can show you. But anyways, this is what I do for 99% of my projects. Um, I will open up uh, Adobe Prelude first. Uh, fantastic program. Love it. The only thing that we're going to use with Prelude, though, is just its ingesting ability. So it doesn't even matter. You can use a project you've already used or created a new one. It doesn't matter. Up here, ingest. This is what's important. We're going to click on ingest. Um, I think when you normally first start up, it just looks like this. Uh, what you do is you go through and you find your footage that you want to use. Got my raw footage here. A uh, couple cameras, couple DSLRs. Um, you just find your ABC HD. Um, check all or check some. Um, then you come over here to transfer options. You want to click transcode. Very important. Already popped up since I used this last. MPEG 2 is what you want. Um, then I use uh, HDTV 1080p. Um, then 2997 if you're shooting 30 frames a second drop frame or you can pick other frame rates. Um, this one I actually did 24 frames a second drop frame. Um, I changed the back end of this because this basically gives you your date. And what's cool is it creates a little folder that will have the date. I'll just put DSLR on there so I know it's all my footage for my DSLR. Um, now, if MPEG-2, you're just like, oh, MPEG-2 is crappy, it's too much compression, you can always add destination. Let's throw on my desktop here. And what this does is Prelude will transcode it um, into two different formats for you. So you can do your MPEG-2 for doing your syncing, and then you can do, you know, like uncompressed AVI if you want to. Um, P2 I know is also really popular for actually working in um, Premiere Pro. Um, I like I said, almost always just use the MPEG-2 because the compression is, is very small when you're doing it at 1080p HDTV. Um, but let's just say you wanted your uncompressed AVI, that's fine. Uh, and then you would just click ingest. And what that will give you, I've already done it, so I'm not going to make you sit through a rendering time again. What that will get you I have this folder of ingested footage is where I put mine. And so both of my cameras and my DSLR have now all been converted to MPEG-2. Very easy to use with WooWave, right? Um, so I'm just going to fire up WooWave here. OK, very important. You want to click one camera, recorded shots, select files. Go in, find your ingested file folder. There it is. Um, Select which footage you want to do. If you want to do them all, select them all. If you want to do a portion, select a portion. On this one here, I just gone through 70 on that. Add more to your second camera. Oops, not raw footage, ingested footage. Uh, 
32, just from 60 on. And you do your audio. Again, like I said, I recorded my audio separately on a Zoom recorder. Get a little bit better quality that way. So I put that in my audio folder here. So I've got these here. All right, and then you just click sync. All right, again, I've already done this, so I'm just gonna show you, it'll go through its thing and say done, and what it does is it puts on your desktop, very important, this folder right here called sync, all right? In here, you've got this very important file, synced Premiere Pro CS6 only, okay? That's very important, all right? I'm gonna bring open Premiere. Um, I'm gonna just delete all this so I can show you guys. Um, you know, your Premiere project, if you have just a new project, doesn't matter. Um, you've got your project bin here, and you're just going to double click on there and on your desktop. Synced, all right? Premiere Pro only. Or you can just drag it over, just, you know, bring open your, your folder, you know, and drag it over. You can do it multiple times, you only need to do it once, obviously, but that's just the second way of doing it. What that gives you is here's all of your clips that you synced, and here's your three synced timelines. So each of these timelines here has synced the footage in there. Now, WooWave is just kind of weird. It separates everything out, um, but this is like kind of one section um, of stuff that happened. You can see here I've got um, many different audio tracks now because what I did it took each one of those clips and gave it its own separate video track and its own separate audio track. Um, this is my uh, separately recorded audio off the Zoom. So it's just one long thing and then all of these clips have basically been synced to that audio. But it actually works really well. I don't like having you know 30 audio tracks so you know what I do is I just kind of grab these bottom ones, move it up, grab move it up. It's a little tedious, but it really doesn't take that long. It's definitely a lot tedi less tedious than syncing everything by hand, which is what I've done in the past. You know, I just kind of, you know, I also don't know why WooWave gives you two audio clips. It kind of doubles your audio clips, which is a little bizarre. Oops, what did I do? That's good. Again, a little tedious, but less tedious than syncing yourself. Always make sure it's plus zero, 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 so you don't unsync everything again. But, you know, again, to sync ten clips has taken me just a few minutes here, so that's quite an improvement over manual. Then I just right-click on audio, delete tracks, all empty tracks. Ah, now I'm back to a manageable six-track audio. Do the same thing with your video up here. But, um, you can walk flip down and see the waveform, uh, see that it's synced, I'll pop the game a little bit on this one. Again, it doesn't matter, I'm just showing you, just to show you that it's synced, but uh, you can see here, these are perfectly synced, um, and then on the footage here, the footage is also synced, so see, ta-da! And then what I do is I basically go through then, and, you know, I will cut usable sections, if I've got something complicated, you know, like let's say this was a really good phrase that he did, I will just take this and copy it to its own timeline and then have a media bin of timelines, basically instead of clips that, you know, are labeled for what they said and what's important, and then I just kind of use those as clips, all being nice and synced together. Um, I even nest mine and use multi camera editing. Uh, it makes it really nice and um, once you get used to it, it's really quite a good workflow to work with WooWave, especially since it's just a $50 program. I think very much worth the money. Thanks for watching.